CTV's Camille Caramali is joining us now with the latest. Camille, at the 11th hour, mm -hmm. the truce between Israel and Hamas extended for at least one more day. Give us the details. Absolutely. Well, this came right down to the wire, and that's because Hamas produced uh, a list of uh, several more hostages that it is willing to release minutes before this truce was set to expire. Now at least extended to one other day, a seventh day now that this list has been received uh, by Israel. And in response, uh, Hamas uh, is asking for 30 Palestinians to be released as well. So that's where the exchange is set to take place. Uh, 10 Israeli hostages for 30 Palestinians. Uh, and there are still 145 Israeli hostages in Gaza, but so far this is the latest to at least extend it one more day. It also allows for another day for additional aid to reach Gaza. And as you saw there, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is visiting the region. He said the truce is helping more aid to get into Gaza and that the truce was producing results and hopes Sorry. it'll continue. Have a listen. From day one, we have been focused relentlessly on trying to secure the release of hostages from, uh, from Gaza and from Hamas. And we have seen uh, over the last week the very positive development of hostages coming home, being reunited with their families, and that should continue today. So very fragile. Uh, that doesn't mean the violence has stopped just yet. We uh, saw a mass shooting at a bus stop in Jerusalem that resulted in three people killed, multiple others injured, as well as uh, on the other side, a Palestinian man, a 21-year-old killed in the West Bank as well. So still, uh, we're still still seeing deaths, violence as well. Uh, this truce, once again, uh, very precarious as well. So of all of those hostages, Camille, mm -hmm. hoping and praying that the truce the pause will be extended even further because mm -hmm. that increases the possibility of the hostages being released. That's so right. are mediators in talks right now um, to extend things even longer, maybe even a permanent ceasefire. That's right. And that is what the talks are about at this uh, hour on this uh, Thursday uh, in Israel, in Gaza as well. The Biden administration has expressed a deep concern that uh, of an upcoming Israeli offensive in southern Gaza that would likely result in uh, thousands of more Palestinian casualties, uh, as they've said so, and possibly derailing those hostages uh, being released as well. So the Biden administration now asks for restraint. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel will discuss, quote, the next phase of the war with Blinken and what that might look like. Uh, meanwhile, as you mentioned, uh, people and world leaders around the world calling for a, a, an extended or a, a permanent ceasefire. I think a, a lot of world leaders are keeping a close eye and watching for that. Uh, what we know is that Egypt and Qatari negotiators are working to extend that truce in Gaza for at least another two days. Back over to you for now. Okay, Camille, thanks for that. Mm -hmm.